Action. Action. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm here in IE Gallery with uh, Thomas Wood and Mandy Turner, and this is our trail lights. That's the subject, and uh, I, we pursued the subject of trail lights for the last what two years? Two years. Two three years, and we did it. It started out with just uh, an early prints that I'd done of trail lights and. Landscape, there's one in the show. And then it, it came from these small plates that I etched in a series, like each, there's three different uh, states of it, but they're all quite a bit different. And I got really interested in the surface and just how rich it could be and how much it felt like a kind of a fossil. And I think that's what we're shooting for in these prints. And then we just got working together on these larger ones, which we etched in zinc. Here's a zinc plate right here. And, uh... Can you tell me when, how long ago did you start these trilobites, the, at the plates? When the did bigger you... bigger plates, we started about two, year, two years two ago. Two years ago, so Maybe 2018. Maybe the little ones four years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and probably the really old one more like ten years ago. So I've been thinking of trilobites for a long time because I think of them as a really interesting uh, kind of symbol logo for evolution. So anyway, we we see these. This whole show is kind of evolving from <laughs> these early ones into the last ones that we did, which were done on this zinc plate right here. And uh, we printed it uh, multiple times, and we used. Uh, different chinkole papers, some cut out into uh, stencil shapes of the image. Mm -hmm. And then those are printed or not printed. And then anyway, it's done by layering them up and Mandy was inking the plates and, print, and uh, plate, printing the plates. Can and you, I was usually laying out the paper. Can you tell me like who, like how Mandy fit into this? Like she, you two have been She's been working as a print puller, a printer for you for a while, but this she became more active in the, the process? Yeah, it was kind of a wonderful accident. I was in tweets, I think, and... Uh, yeah, like five or six years ago. Yeah, when I was blabbing about making prints. Or I, no, I think I had an invitation to a show that I did. Yeah. And I, I happened to give one to you, right? Yeah, because I went, oh, I'm a printmaker. Yeah. Because I went to school for printmaking at co for college. And then I showed up at the show and I went, oh, you're like, oh, you're actually a printmaker. <laughs> and then I started just going up and then we were printing an edition that needed two layers. And then after that, it was like, oh, we both just worked quite well together. Oh, well, we just always have a lot of fun when we print. And it's, uh, it's created a whole different um, kind of work for me because my work was always really solitary and uh, more literary. Uh, they usually have a story or, or um, some kind of message. It's more like a language, and it's my own kind of personal language. Maybe. Yeah, or narrative, I think, of yeah. some yeah, 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 narrative work. And uh, the trilobites are more like, uh, it encapsulates my narrative, but it's in a real kind of a symbolic sort of, like almost a logo. Yep, and we were finding different, we... We, there's, a, oh, there's so many kinds of techniques in printmaking that we don't tend to access when we're doing just our kind of beautiful narrative pieces. And so this became a project where we could use soft grounds, different hard grounds, different forms of etching, using zinc in a different form of a etching process. Yeah, that's right. Because so zinc as the plate instead of copper. Yeah. yeah. I usually work in ferric chloride on uh, copper plates with really hard ball ground, and I do etching very fine with uh, magnification, and it's just real slow. Like it takes maybe two years to make a plate. Like I've been working on the plate I'm working on now for three years. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe four. four. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know they're just time consuming, but this plate. We probably made the plate in a week. It wow. was so fast. Wow. And, Comparably. Uh, and then uh, we were using all kinds of techniques that we both have this studied but never used. There's like a soft ground of some doy doilies, so you have a lace pattern in the background. And those Shout are out from to, uh, Francis, Francis X. Francis <laughs> oh, yeah, Donovan. he's a doily. 
in Bellingham doily inspired the doily. Turn this onto the doily. Got us into it. So we were, we were able to like use a different form of techniques and then because it's such a deep etch, we were able to do a multitude of processes of essentially viscosity printing. So we were able to put different layers of ink into the pieces and do some relief rolls. And sometimes pulled through maybe five times. Oh man, there's mm -hmm. there's cutouts on, there's shinkle on shinkle on shinkle we, <laughs> we just kept putting ink on, then we cover the ink yeah. with paper, and then just... we put more ink on. And... It's just layers and layers There's of ink. There's so much. Would do you mind grabbing that one right there, yeah. Tom, and talking about like <clears throat> like that one about the process? Both of you, let's well, look let at that. Let Mandy do yeah. It. So okay. this one in particular, you can see. That you can hold it vertically. Yeah. What yeah, had happened? Good light on. It. What had happened in this one in particular is we ran. This one got inked way deep inside with a very light ink. Uh -huh. And then we put in a darker ink inside of the trilobite area. And then Tom graded some of the... What's oh, malachite. Malachite. This, is, malachite. this one has bits of malachite that we graded into the ink, like shaved it in there. Uh -huh. And then we ran it through. This one probably got ran through about twice. This color, this blue, is iridescent blue. Uh, Oil paint, actually, and then that we printed over with. You can really see the doil, wow. doily see. Yeah, there. it's all pearlescent. Wow, and you can see those bits of the pearl. We got real turned on to the pearlescence. And well, you know, like a lot of people wouldn't even notice this paper is glued to this paper, and, and that's inside the here there that's will be another. there will be a cutout of the trilobite that has okay. been printed. Exactly. And then glued on as a shinkole. And so that first gluing it, that is shinkole. They're all all of it shinkole. There's, so there's this, two shinkoles. That's that's on this paper. I'm just pause and let people know what that is because they don't a lot of people have been asking me in the gallery what shinkole is. So it's almost like a tissue paper, but now you can use it in a powder form. And you put it right, but am I right? We put use it, it it's essentially adhering a paper in the printmaking process to another piece of exactly. paper. Exactly, so when we see the gray here of the main paper, and then you see this light tissuey white, that's the sheen collé. And then on, in here, right, there's another layer. The trilobite itself is another that we've yeah. cut exacto knifed out yeah. to be the exact shape. Okay. Sheen collé is a French word for Chinese collage. I think that's where oh, it came cool. from. Oh, cool, okay. They were doing it back, you know, uh, 1800s, okay. like, Charles Marion did chicole prints, and oh, a okay. lot of famous printmakers were using it in Europe to put really fine Japanese paper onto Occidental paper. Oh, okay. And this paper I've been using is twin rocker paper, and it's made in Indiana at a small hand mill. Okay. And the Japanese paper is uh, different kinds of uh, uh, fiber, fibers, uh, wood fibers. Mostly, oh, okay. Like uh, mulberry fiber. So this is probably the biggest collaboration that you and Mandy have done together where she's had more imp Yeah, we, we were able to just real bounce ideas. We were both just seeing the result and then saying, oh, let's try this version. Or Tom would be working on cutting out stencils, so I just would play with a whole new palette of yeah. different inks. And so we were both really able to just kind of be limitless in our viewpoint of what to do. So we were able to just really expansively sort of push each other with the prints of where we thought yeah. we could mix colors and palettes and different directions. I think of it as a way of painting. Yes. You know, like I'm also a painter in oil and this is, each one I, like I could throw up some colors to Mandy, some oil paints, some print inks, and then say, let's move it into this direction. Like this is a really light one. Yes. But then we have some really dark ones with reds. Yeah. You know, like, here's one that has a lot of different so much kind of color. Yeah, I'll come over and see if we're getting a little reflection on the glass, but I'll come over yeah, and try to get that, too. To oh, yeah. But, you know, that, Oops, that right. one's a really Focus. rich one. You know, they just get really interesting as the layers build up with color. Yeah. And it adds to that fossil sort yeah. of feeling to them. I mean, well, the narrative in this is basically the layers of papers and inks. Comparatively to the visual storytelling of your other work, okay, right. this yeah. is more the story is told just in this the actual application. Well, it's a very nice analogy because it evolves. I mean, these prints have evolved, and they're all about evolution, and then they're also about extinction, which is the other side of the trilobite story. Yeah, because they were they uh, were on the earth for 
250 million years. As this, opposed to our puny 100,000 or whatever. <laughs> right, <laughs> Maybe right. Half a million years or so. And this looks like it was maybe painted on top by hand. Uh, that, I, nope, that's no, rubbed. No, we didn't do that. That's ink that's just rubbed inside different application. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. From These are the, all printed. They're just... I don't oh, think okay. I don't think any of them are, have any paint on them. No. Okay, could we go over here for a second and kind of flip through a couple that are not framed? Yeah. Just, just so there's no reflection. Like, this is an early one. So yeah. it doesn't have the richness of the printing. Yeah. But you can really see the image. Yeah. You know, it's a pretty print anyway. Quite simple. Here we get into the. This was good. It has more working in it. Yeah. And it has, you know, you can see the chinkle. And I don't. And sometimes you've got a little like chop mark or something in the corner. Yeah, that's just another plate we put in. Okay. Oh, you can get in here, man. So we're just, you know, creating. Uh, each is a one, a one of a kind. They're each yeah, they're all printed differently. We're 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 learning on these early ones. We're learning the new things that we're going to use in the later oh, ones, yeah. too. Like, we're just developing different techniques. Like, this one has got stenciling and more color. What does it have, the second the, one? See, there's say? a stencil here. So you can oh, really trilobite. see. Oh, right. We cut out, we'll print on it, and then we'll cut it out, and then we'll lay it down over the top of a really dark one, And then say, run it again. And then it comes it. forward. So oh, you've wow. created this kind of shadow Three right. dimension. Right. vignette behind it. Yeah. That's a real. That's an early one. That's this is just, just like a, is, this one doesn't even have the doily on it. Mm -mm. That's just a basic relief roll, right. which is beautiful to see. Kind of as it's just progressed, how mm -hmm. simple these shapes are, then how detailed it becomes later. Yeah, mm -hmm. Now this one you can compare the two. It's pretty interesting because you can really see the lace or doily here. Yeah. No, let's put them together. Yeah, here's like three different mm -hmm. stages like this. This is the first uh, state state of the plate, and then it goes to this, and then we just develop the plate more and more in printing to get to that last one. Here's and it's hard to explain to people that you can't see the richness and the beauty of the color unless you see these in person. Yeah, you really have this problem. That's the thing about printmaking; with, these are very subtle. It's they're really, very subtle. It's really hard to see. And like you said, they are very painterly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they each and have a different person. So there's four plates that you and Mandy did. Um, the one we were just looking at was plate three. Mm -hmm. This one at the, that is the back wall where you were sitting is plate four. Mm -hmm. There are... I think we only printed 10 of the plate 4 prints. Those were our last. Yeah. But, and this is the, this wall here is the plate 3. Mm -hmm. And, and then, have, there's more of those. Yeah, and then the back wall is plate 4. Right. And then we have this one that was done. Do you want to show us the little, the little plate you have here by the floor that you were used for? This is done in three different stages. Actually, you don't have this state of this one. No, I do have it. At, yeah, that's right. I don't have it up on the wall, but I have it in the um, file. <laughs> mm. That is the plate, and it, tar it tarnished really kind of beautifully. It did. So we decided to stop printing it because the plate <laughs> itself like turned it. so gorgeous. It was better than... I love these dark... Uh, these are beautiful, though. And then you have... And then at the very end of your series, you were in Italy in the fall. Right. And for three months. And they were doing a small uh, publication, and uh, they asked me to do an etching for it. And so I did this one, and it fits, it sort of finishes up the whole trilobite theme pretty nicely. Yeah, Mandy was explaining to me that, yeah, we're kind of back to square one where you're doing uh, copper plate etching again. Right. In the place you learned to do a lot of printmaking. Right. Yeah. 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 The school. Right. You're right. That's exactly right. We were just saying that... Um, Tom wanted to add, yeah, what were you going to say, Tom? Well, we were saying that the trilobites uh, uh, represent ourselves to me. Like, that's why I said, remember me, and that one was of the travel of DNA through time, deep time, sort of uh, deep ancestry, things like that. I mean, it's, I just think they're beautiful 
as a symbol in that way. Yeah, so they have, um, I'm actually push, didn't push the start button soon enough. Oh. So I'm going to go back to just when we were talking about, you were talking about how, well, I've been hearing from people that see the show about how it's torso shaped, kind of, and you were talking about the DNA. Yeah, well, um, the way we look at these is that they're, we are the evolutionary uh, expression of the trilobite's DNA. Oh, okay. It started back 500 million years ago. These guys, I mean, there was life before that too, but 500 million years ago, we all looked like that. It was all trilobites everywhere, trilobites, trilobites, for 250 million yeah. years. Wow. And that they are our real deep ancestors. And that's, a, that's the intention behind the image, is to remind us that, you know, we have this deep evolution through these extinctions, through all the things, all the trauma that happens to that DNA. It's, it's kind of trying to be immortal, and it comes from the trilobites to us, and we oh, are yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's kind of the, that's the a story That's fascinating. Behind it. Yeah. Is that something you realize, like um, some artists realize things during or after they do a certain series and it's not like a pre-planned thinking? Or was that well, just, just knowledge you went into it with? I've been thinking about these things for a long time. I, you know, it's kind of a hobby of mine to, to study uh, evolution. Oh, okay. And so it's kind of natural to try to come up with images that represent them. Huh. And I, I had uh, good talks with... Uh, my friend Jim Willis about it, too. That's cool. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Tom. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Mandy. Yeah, Mandy, <laughs> we, we, these all evolved out of the same evolutionary process. It's, yes. It all comes round and round and round. It's all connected. To it looks a little different connected. sometimes, but it's all the same, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's the stuff of our DNA. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Absolutely.